Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Tower Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Now, before we get into our show, before the game, we had a couple of trades to get into. So let's try to break those down a little bit. All right. Yakov Trading goes to Colorado with Graham Sward, who I would I really liked him. Um not sure how I feel about it, but I really liked him. Um he's got one point. Five seven against the cap, which is exactly what is left owed of Anthony Bolivier's contract, which is who he would who Nashville traded for with the Blackhawks for a fifth in 2024. Now the Preds, in return for Treaded, get Jeremy Hensel and a third in 2025. Hensel's a six foot. One defenseman, he shoots left-handed. He's on a British, uh, Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. Um, he is signed. He is signed. So I'd assume as soon as his time. What is he playing? Oh, he's teammates with Graham Sward. Uh -huh. Um, he has. 13 goals, 37 assists with 50 points with a minus six this season. Uh, last year, they went to the Memorial Cup and had five games played, two goals, or two assists, and a plus three. Uh, this year, not having the same results in the plus minus area, but um, that's all I got on that. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right. As I was saying, he's not having the same results that he was having last season in the plus minus category, but he is having um, a pretty solid start. Now, tonight during the game, um, uh, Texas retreated Riley Dinimani, um for... Uh, Matthias Pedersen um, to the so Dini Mani goes to the Flames Pedersen goes to the Stars uh, Cade Weber goes from Carolina to Toronto where they get a 2026 sixth round pick as I said about Anthony uh, Bolivier he has a 4.5 4.1 cap hit he is a UFA at the end of this season um, he's been traded twice going into this year um, uh, so traded from the Canucks, he had eight points, and traded from the Blackhawks, where he had six points, so 14 points. You know, not having a fun time in Chicago, I'll tell you that. Um, but welcome to the Preds. Welcome to the organization. On to the game. Today, the Nashville Predators took on the Buffalo Sabres. All right. <clears throat> shots on goal in the first period. Both teams had nine shots. In the second period, Nashville outshot Buffalo 8-7. to seven. In the third period, Buffalo outshot Nashville 12-7. to seven. And in total, Buffalo outshoots Nashville 28-24. Um, the Predators are better in the face-off circle at 54.2% to Buffalo's 45.8%. On the power play, Buffalo goes 0 for 3 with 6 minutes, while the Predators go 2 for 3 with 6 minutes. Um, the Predators out-hit Buffalo 17 to 15. They out-blocked them 15 to 8. The Predators had 24 giveaways to Buffalo 16, and... The Predators had 14 takeaways to Buffalo's nine. Scoring in the first period for Nashville at the 353 mark was Philip Forsberg scoring his 
31st of the season on the power play, assisted by Yossi, his 47th, and Nyquist, his 37th. And at the 423 mark, Bowen Byram scores his ninth of the season, assisted by Darlene, his 32nd, and Krebs, his 10th. Then at the 1615 mark, Nashville scores again with a goal from Luke Evangelis to his 12th of the season on the power play, assisted by Jankowski, his first, and Novak, his 22nd. And the third, Philip Forsberg scores his second of the game, um, his 32nd of the year, with an assist from Gustav Nyquist, his 38th, and Ryan O'Reilly, his 32nd. Then Philip Forsberg gets the hat trick at 30, his 33rd, with an assist from Lazan, his 7th, and Nyquist, his 39th. I would throw my hat, but not happening after what I found out today. Um, Just can't do that. Uh, then at the 12.52 mark, Owen Power scores his fifth with an assist from Bowen Byram, the recently traded for Casey Middlestad. Um, honestly, I think Buffalo got the better end of that deal. Yeah. But that's my opinion. For the long term. For the long term. I'm not talking about short term. I'm talking about the long term. Um, and that's one of the things uh, going into tomorrow is a, a really big thing. Um, the Preds went 4-2 to two in net for the Sabres was um, former Winnipeg prospect Eric Comrie. He stopped 24 uh, or stopped 20 of 24 with an 83.3 save percentage in net for the Nashville Predators was UC Soros. Soros stopped. 26 of 28 with a 92.9 save percentage. Since not going to see you too, the Preds have a 9-0-1 record. <laughs> not that I'm trying to make a joke of it or anything, but the Predators have been are on a current 10-point game point streak. Let's keep it going. Um, if any, if at all, do you see them doing anything tomorrow? I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but I honestly don't think they'll do anything tomorrow unless it's something big. Yeah, and it's going to have to be monstrous. And a lot of the big names are off the board as Gensel's been traded. Um, For what I know, Gensel's been traded. All right, let's get to the trades. So I want to make sure I was right on that. Gensel is being traded, but it is not official. <clears throat> um. In the Edmonton trade, Edmonton got fleeced. Um, they uh, traded a first and a fifth for Sam Carrick and Adam Henrique, then retained 50% of Henrique's contract and traded him to uh, the Lightning for a fourth round pick. And a fourth round pick. So they get a fourth and lose fourth. And, oh, wow. Um, but as I said, that Casey Middlestead trade, I, I just don't see it being positive for in the long term. I do believe his contract is up after this year and he becomes a UFA. Correct. I am right. Yep. So that's all I got on that one for you. The Preds sit in the first spot of the wild card again. 
at the current moment, Vegas is losing. Um, who is right behind them? Ah, official Jake Gensel traded to Pittsburgh from Pittsburgh to Carolina for Ty Smith. Oh, Gensel and Ty Smith for Michael Bunting, Billy Covenant, the Silly Panamara, Chaz Lucius. A first round in 2024, which is conditional, and a fifth in 2024, which is also conditional. Um, if I'm Nashville, I'm calling about bunting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me because he's a top six guy who can play. Yeah. So, um. The Wolves lose Par Panamara. That's part of that one. Oh, breaking news. Sidney Crosby has officially requested a trade from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Upon the trade of Gensel. So tomorrow may be really big. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Where you got a landing spot for old uh, Sidney Crosby? You still got some of the tank. I have no idea. I I honestly don't know what to say there. <laughs> um and it's gonna be a big haul for Crosby. Yep. Don't know what to say there. But at the end of the day, um, we'll be back tomorrow if anything breaks. Um, now, do note that our show will be late um, as I have stuff going on during the day. But me and John, uh, please pay attention to our social media on Facebook and um, X. I know no one goes on our Instagram, so you, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> It'll be there, but you can go on Instagram if you want to. Um, but I thank you all for watching. Um, we will be back Saturday. Mm -hmm. If nothing breaks tomorrow. Um, John, also, I thank you for all the hard work you've been putting in the, today. Um, yeah. As I was kind of out with an illness. <laughs> <laughs> Is the best way to put it. Yeah. And an upper body injury. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm, I'm here, but, and by the way, I did watch the Preds game tonight, so don't get me, don't get it wrong. I did watch tonight. So it's not me anymore. I broke <laughs> it. Yay! I can watch Friends games again. Um, but uh, like I said, we'll be back Saturday and Sunday. So see you then, and have a great, great weekend. Also, to all you Dragon Ball Z fans, rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, who passed away. Um, that is why I'm wearing what I'm wearing. That's why I won't throw my hat. I told you I'd get into it. Thank you all for being patient with me. I will take my hat off and set it down for Forsberg, but I will not throw it. Um, it's just too much respect for what Akira Toriyama did for the anime community, and I thank him for what he did. I also thank our podcast, along with our sponsor, Hockey Locker. Check them out at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Thank you. <laughs>